there is no doubt, at least in my mind, uh, that uh, the notion of the growing value of particular pieces of property, uh, which you don't own, helped fuel the disaster which is occurring in the United States now. The point, though, is also that most investments do not necessarily pay off. Uh, they go bad, and they may not have any growing value at all. So that has to be taken into account in terms of capitalism. The other part of the story, it seems to me, is then this question of what is it that the 20% does for it, uh, can do for itself and put up with native communities, gated walls, as against the outside, the 80% out there. I agree with the position that uh, it is going to be very hard to do that, that there will, in fact, be a, a porous notion. And given the fact that in the United States, the assumption is that even the poorest person can go to the top and has internalized that in his or her mind that helps to fuel the idea of, of the, the, porous, the porous notion. Now, going to this election, here we see a number of things. It is not clear when you look at, say, Obama, what one is to what one is to say to make of it. He is first of all very brilliant. Secondly, he is surrounded by political advisors who are very smart in terms of knowing how to get delegate support, which came as a very great shock to everybody else in the campaign, all the other candidates. <coughs> Secondly, or thirdly, he was a street organizer, and he's uh, worked under uh, people who worked with the man whose name was Saul Linsky, who was a great organizer in Chicago. And so that is part of his background of how to go about organizing. You listen to what it is people say, you attempt to find a specific notion of what will bring people together and you hope that what you're doing is that as other parts are collapsing around you, you've chosen the right specific thing to organize around. He also is a graduate of uh, the Harvard Law School. And as more important than that, and that's very, very important, is he's a professor at the University of Chicago. Now, University of Chicago uh, Law School is a place that was very much part of the neoliberal conception. As some advisors who have been part of that point of view, and others who have not. But the Chicago thing is an important element to the story, and it's hard to know how that plays out. One other piece to continue this kind of psychological profile. His father, as I understand it, 
uh, had came, came to the United States uh, and was uh, brought here through uh, the work of left foundation people, left-wing foundation people. His uh, uh, mother was what you would describe as a hippie, a brilliant hippie, like a polo hippie, a white woman. His advisor, his chief advisor, it was someone whose mother um, wrote for an important newspaper called PM. And PM was a uh, newspaper in New York, which was a left-wing newspaper. So you can make out of this pastiche what it is you want to make out of it. But certain things also are there on the table as well. What's on the table is he wants to get out of Iraq, but it is not clear how to do that at this point because of the geopolitics of saying that you want to control the oil uh, over what Russia is able to do. Uh, you want to have an arrangement with Turkey to be close with them, which will be presented to him by the Bush administration. He may be presented with a war which would, in Iran, which would be a series of bombings, which would either be done directly by the United States or by Israel, or in the alternative, none of that would happen, but instead there will be a buildup of the American military in Afghanistan, which he has committed himself to already, and which the military and his military supporters go along with. There also is a problem with the decay of the services uh, in, in the hospitals. Uh, for veterans, which he's committed himself uh, to doing something about. So you have all of, you have those things which are there and which are on the table for him and those around him. What has to be taken into account is are there sufficient numbers of people who will organize into groups and live with each other with members of Congress to present a progressive liberal, liberal in the better sense. Yeah, I'm sure that Iraq anche se non è chiaro poi il contesto geopolitico con cui certo, questa roba è stata realizzata, il controllo del petrolio, la della Turchia e della, della Russia, c'è l'ipotesi di una guerra con, con i grandi, a un proposito, anche nella sostenibilità forse del Brevet, e eh, si è già impegnato a aumentare l'impegno militare in Afghanistan e eh, comunque in generale a sostenere la questione militare del paese. Il problema della partita si gioca molto sulla capacità di gruppi locali eh, alleati con uh, movimenti sociali, alleati con rappresentanti del congresso, alleati con Tintent, come il suo Istituto Francis Stadis, alleati con cartelli di eh, rappresentanti progressisti raccolti nel progresso in corpus del, del congresso per cercare di costruire delle proposte politiche eh, che cambino la natura. Ci sono una bacchetta d'agile di Urbano che cambia le cose, ma la, 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 la carta ancora una volta sta nelle mani della, della capacità della società di, di organizzarsi, di costruire una politica diversa. E per questo dialogo credo che dice ci, ci manderà i materiali che verranno prodotti e poi 